Okay, g'day again everyone. In this lesson I'm going to show you how we can create some nice effects for your text using Adobe Photoshop by using the, um, the layer style um, option down the bottom here. So first of all I've got this image of this barren type of a landscape that I'm going to add some text to. So I'll get the text tool and I'll click there and I might just type the word barren. Alright. And I'll get the move tool and position it to where I want it to be. I'll go into the character tab here and I might just make it a bit bigger. And I won't change the I won't change the font type or anything. I might just uh, spread the letters out slightly. Oh, that's a bit too much. Just a little bit more like that. There we go, that's looking good. Um, now the first thing we want to do is add a layer style to this and I'll just put a stroke on. So if you click the effects button there, you'll notice there's a lot of options here. Uh, I'm only going to go through a few of them in this video and you can explore the rest as you see fit. Um, but the ba basic one is a stroke. A stroke is just the line around the outside of a shape or some text. So zoom in on my image here so you can see it, I'll put it in a better spot. You can see that I've got stroke activated in the, the dialog box here because there's a tick on it. If I untick it, it's deactivated. At the moment the color's set to black, all right, or close to black, I'm just I'm going to leave it on black because black and white look good together. Um, and there are some options up here so you can adjust the size of the stroke which will adjust the thickness of it. I'm going to leave it at about maybe three or four pixels. Um, you can adjust the position to the outside, to the inside, or the center. And I think inside looks best, so I'll leave it at that. If you want the opacity to be lowered of the stroke, you can adjust that too. But at the moment, that's looking pretty good. That's all I really want to do there. So again, you can see now there's like a line around my text. Uh, the next thing you can do is, I'm just going to add a, um, a drop shadow to it, so I might just, you can, if you've already got an effect added, you can just kind of double click on the effects and it'll bring the dialog box back up. Uh, I might take the stroke off and I'm just going to go down to drop shadow and that basically does what it says, it just adds a drop shadow to your um, text now you can you don't need to change the blend mode it'll automatically set to modify you can change the opacity to make it more opaque or transparent you can change the position of the stroke the distance that it comes from the text all right so if you really bring that out you can see that that's way too much so I'll bring it right back in uh, the spread of it and also the size of it if you want more of a effect right there. I might drop the opacity a little bit and I might just change the angle so it's kind of going there. Um, and again you can turn it on and off and it just makes your text look like that it's sitting a little bit further away from the background which looks much more effective um, as you can see there. Okay now a cool thing you can do is and I've done it in another video is that I can actually get the drop shadow I might just start that again because I've got the stroke on this, so I'll just get it, throw that in the bin, start again, get the, write the word barren again. Okay, I'll add a drop shadow to it in the effects panel. I'll just keep it as is, and what I can do is I can actually separate the drop shadow from the text layer so that I can then play around with it on its own, and I'll show you what I mean by that. If I go into um, I think it's layer, no, it's, yeah, I think it's, no, it's, is it adjust, no, layer, uh, layer style, so if you go into layer style and then click on create layer, it's going to create a, click OK, it's going to create a layer based on the styles that you've put on there, so I only put a drop shadow on there, so you can see in the, um, in your layers menu panel here, sorry, that I've got, the drop shadow on its own now which is really cool so what I can actually do I can probably I can lay it flat so that it'll make my text look really nice and three-dimensional like it's sitting in this landscape to do that just make sure the drop shadow layer is selected go to edit and transform and if we go to I think we'll try perspective and what I can do is, oh no, it's not the one I want. I think I want skew. Let's go back and we'll do skew. 
Ah, that's better. And then what I'm doing is I'm actually skewing the text so that it looks like it's actually part of the landscape because of this shadow that it's casting. Um, I'm just going to press enter and I'm just going to hold command and press T for a normal free transform and I'm just going to kind of make it a bit smaller like that and I might just make it bring it in a little bit here and just push it across all right, um, the other thing you do is you can drop the opacity right down so that it kind of looks like it's, um, yeah, um, so now it looks like the text is actually as part of the landscape like that. And again, you could go back into your, um, into your main text layer, go into effects. Uh, I might put the stroke back on it because I think that looks kind of cool. Um, I've got my drop shadow there. Uh, another thing you can do is you might try, you could put like a gradient overlay on it. So if you click that button there, you'll notice there's this nice gradient here. Um, if you want to change the color of the gradient, or you can double click on the color there. And if you click on one of the stops at the bottom, double click, you can then choose a different color and it's going to give you a different kind of different color for that side of the gradient okay you could change the white there if you wanted to as well so it could go from blue to um, from blue to red so I like from blue to white that looks nice I'll just click OK um, to do, do, do what you can do you can change the angle of it as well and you can change from linear to a radial type of a gradient angles you can just muck around with all the settings as you see fit Okay, so if I click OK and get out of there, you can see that's looking quite nice now. Um, so yeah, just play around with it. Another one I might just quickly show you. Um, if I double click in here to get them back up, I'll take these two off and I'll zoom back in. Just so you can see that underneath. Uh, another quite common one to use is a bevel and emboss. All right, and um, it's going to be a bit hard to see because it's white, but I might be able to just change the color of that text quickly. I'll just change it to red so you can see it better. And double click in here to bring this back up. I'll take the gradient overlay, I'll take the stroke off, and I'll choose bevel and emboss. And um, then you can, you can see that it starts to kind of almost acts like a bit of like it says like it's a chisel and it and it um, gives the sides of the text a bit of three-dimensional depth um, you can change the direction from up and down you can change the size of it you can soften the edges change the angle and there's all kinds of things you can muck around with here okay if you click OK there's your bevel and emboss all right so that's um, your layer layer styles and that's how you can add some pretty cool the basic um, effects to your text to make it stand out and make it look a lot more neater